I'm dug down staff, even when I'm by myself. I'm boot camp click, even when I'm by myself. I'm fat five, even when I'm by myself. I'm OGC, even when I'm by myself. Welcome back to the episode. Get an Ozana. Richopolis back. Jumping right in. Still got my uh, pillars of ivory here. Got my new glass. Second time using it from my beautiful wife for Christmas. And I'm gonna jump right into a, a newbie for the um, for the channel. This is never had from them before. My first beer from them. This is Black Flag Brewing in collaboration with Kushwa. I love Kushwa. These are two Maryland heavy hitters. Um, Black Flag, I think, is out of Columbus. Maryland, I think it's Columbus, Columbia, Maryland, and this is a 10% ABV hazy with concentrated hot oil. I don't know if that's that, that HD, DC, whatever that other stuff, they, I don't know if that's the same thing. This is exploration of matter, and it just looks like some pink clouds, with green background. I don't really get the, the labeling, but always been wanting to try Black Flag. There's another one in Maryland that is on my bucket list. I know they don't distribute them. I'm dying to try them. That is um, Sapwood. Really want them. And um, I always chop up with my uh, my other friend on YouTube. He's a, he's a he's a YouTuber. We would check him out. Chris Rose. We always go back and forth. And he loves Black Flag. He actually lives in Maryland. I don't think he lives too far from them. He's a damn good dude. Check him out. And me, him, and my little and my other man, uh, Blue Ice, we always go back and forth in the comments. We got a nice little group there. So uh, let's get a little wipe on this. Cheers to both you fellas, the damn good dudes. Snap some tin. Let's get this black flag in the in the glass and let's try it out. First time. Very excited. Black flag in Kushwa. Kushwa is in my. Uh, I don't think they're in my top 10 anymore. They're in my top 15, definitely. All right. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but that's a deep, dark, orange, golden color. Rocky, teeny, tiny bubbles on the side. Medium bubbles popping on top. Non-see-through. Very hazy. Teeny, tiny carbonation bubbles rising up to the top. That's all I got for you. Looks like a deep, dark... Uh, Orange, golden, hazy IPA. Get a nose on them. <laughs> now that smells good. Alright, I'm getting pineapple for sure. Pineapple, peach. They don't tell you. Do they say They don't say anything about the hops on here. No. Pineapple peach, sweet bready malt. And that's that's basically it. Maybe other earthy undertones. Are. But those other those first three, those other three I mentioned, they stand out. That's all I got for you. I don't want to dig too deep and just start making shit up. Mind playing tricks on me. Cheers. All right, that's a lot of peach on the on the on the, on the taste. That's a damn good brew. Black flag, throwing it down. That's a triple. You know how I feel. You could pull off a triple. Most companies fail in, the, in that category. In my eyes. You a monster. All right, heavy peach. Heavy peach. Like a candied peach. Then there's like a um, I would say maybe sweet mango in there too. Heavy peach, candied peach, sweet mango. That's up front. Carbonation average at best. Heavy. Full body, thick, syrupy, creamy, smooth. Finish doesn't dry out. Slight bitterness with this like sweet 
residual sweetness that sticks around. It's like the bitterness is there and that residual sweetness kicks in and just elbows a drive like a, like a, um, a Bruce Willis movie. Elbows the bad guy driver, pushes the bitterness out the door, and takes over the driver's seat. And that sweet residual sweetness rides out to the end, saves the day, movie over. Everybody cheers. <laughs> Claps. Okay. I mean, that's basically it. It's peach, mango, slight bubbly, and then that whole end of scene I just described with the battle of the residual sweet res, residual sweetness and the slight bitterness. I mean, for a 10% triple, alcohol hit in very well. They did a very good job on this one. I got to look for more Black Flag. I picked this up at State Line. State Line, uh, State Line Liquors. Right on uh, in Maryland. Right across the Delaware, Maryland border. In uh, Elkton. Nice spot. That's, I think I did a video of me and Bear shopping there. That's a very good brew. I mean. I really got nothing bad to say about it. Is it the best? Like, Is it like an equilibrium triple? Absolutely not. Is it the other half oat cream triple? No. But it's not very far behind from that. It's not on that level. That's upper tier shit. This, I would put on the next tier lower than that. This is like mezzanine level. It's not front row seats. So, um, 4-1 for a triple. That, that's a damn good score. And usually, I don't know. I, I had many triples. A little spillage. Hope white don't see that. They're like... So some of them are two sips and dump. I mean, some of them are, are, are manageable, but very rare you come across a company that's not a solid company. They're like, wow, that, that was a good damn triple. Or your first time having a triple from them, like, I truly enjoyed that. I'm enjoying this. This is good. Glad I picked it up. I will be on the lookout for them. My good man, Chris Rose, definitely always telling me, get on that, on that black flag horse. I'm on it. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Peace.